Hey, Wes Huber here, crypto analyst at My Digital Money. I'm Guy Gottslack, president at My Digital Money. So, electric vehicle industry. So, another application of blockchain is in the electric vehicle industry. Um, carbon emissions, I've always said, is one of the great use cases um, of blockchain. I think it should be applied there. Um, so, you can track more efficiently, more accurately carbon emissions. Right now, it's very much a huge estimate, right? Um, there's, uh, but I think if you build in into the vehicles to actually record the carbon emissions and put it on the blockchain, then ev it's going into a public ledger um, that no one can tamper with and it's happening automatically. Um, rather than having a bunch of third parties logging their own carbon emissions and reporting it to the government who then uses that sample to kind of extrapolate the, the full number, right? You, you can have a lot more accuracy in recording carbon emissions. Um, so that's one application. Yeah, another application is reducing the costs um, so of production. So then uh, with the blockchain, um, car companies are able to kind of track materials that are used, production that is out, inventory that is in, instead of uh, people in-house kind of keeping the books and manipulating the numbers, it's a better way of tracking what is actually being used, where it's being used, and how much of it is being used. So overall cutting down the production costs of the actual business is a good way of just kind of utilizing the blockchain in tracking. So Yeah, and, and one thing I've always said about manufacturing, right, is blockchain applies in a way that you can recall products. Well, whenever uh, there's a product that can affect someone's safety, right, which cars definitely can affect someone's safety, um, you can essentially create an NFT for the vehicle you, that allows you to track that or that specific vehicle or that specific part, right? So if there's a part within the vehicle, um, rather than just having a generic product number, you can have a specific product for that part, right? So even if, so, maybe only 10% of that part, you know, is is defective because it came out of a certain factory. Um, so you can actually track which owners have the defective part. Right, because um, the way things work today, like with barcodes, you have like let's say cans of soup that has a barcode. It doesn't track that specific can. It just says, you know, this is, you know, the this product. But it doesn't. You can't really locate that specific one that came out of factory X, right? And so I think that with blockchain and having these kind of, you know, uh, NFTs, basically where you can track ownership of a specific part, you can recall. Um, you know, bad parts. So the safety is, is basically improved. And then also vehicle documentation. You could also document how many times the vehicle is turned over from different users and also how many times a vehicle has had different parts installed or withdrawn from the vehicle as well um, by tracking this data on, on the blockchain and seeing kind of the life history of the whole entire vehicle and its parts as well. Um, so I think that's another big component for a consumer. Yeah, it's good for, good for maintenance. You know, like I recently took my car to Jiffy Loop to do an oil change. Um, and I, I, I used to be taken to, to the actual dealership, right? And so Jiffy Loop doesn't have any history. They don't know when was the last time I did an oil change, when was the last time the, the brake fluid was changed and all of that. But if you had, you know, a universal system um, on the blockchain, then you can track, you know, the mileage and all the different maintenance so you can kind of maintain the vehicle more, more efficiently. Um, so yeah, that's, that's another good use. I've always said also for DMV, instead of having the records in DMV or your pink slip, you know, you should have it on the blockchain so you don't have to wait in line for hours just to change your registration. So you can just do it in a trustless way um, online, you know? Yeah.